Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Ooh, the night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Hmm. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. And so he went, so he was sent to bed without eating anything. Hmm, look at him. There's a very night in Max's room. A forest grew. Wow. <laughs> and grew, he says. <laughs> And grew until his ceiling hung with vines, and the walls became the world all around. And the ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max as he sailed through the night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. He's cool. And when he came to the place for the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed those terrible claws. They look kind of funny to me. <laughs> Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with his magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking even one time. They were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. <laughs> and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Had a staring contest, huh? Look at them all, dancing under that moon, swinging on some silly old trees. <laughs> They look like they're having a bunch of fun. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. And then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat, we'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. And the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teefies and rolled those terrible eyes, showed those claws. But Max stepped off his private boat and he said goodbye. Aww. And he sailed back over a year in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Oh, look at his mom brought him up something to snack on. And it was still hot, so that's cool. The end. Thank you for reading with me.